days of planning, months of preparation. I can't wait to see her adorable face. Your expression when you see me again. I wonder what you're gonna think of me. I mean, you didn't truly expect that you would never see me again, right? That would just be foolish. If you were truly scared, as you say you are, I would imagine you would install some sort of security system. But no. You are always the foolish, naive one. That's the whole reason I fell in love with you to begin with. Oh, look at you. Sleeping like a precious little angel. Even when you're just sitting there, motionless, softly breathing, I almost can't help but wonder, how could I not fall in love with you? It took me no time to realize you were the person for me. After weeks of planning and days of not getting any sleep, Following you, jotting down every single note about you, about where you're going, I finally found you. You think relocating and moving into a different house and deleting all of your social media would keep us from meeting again. Oh, darling. You should know that no matter what you do, I will always be right behind you. I mean, from the day we first met, I knew that we were meant for each other. The way we looked into each other's eyes, the way we passionately kissed each other. Our mouths were hungry for each other, and as much as you want to deny it, as much as you want to burn our memories and leave them in the past, you have to admit that those years you shared with me were some of the best moments that you've ever had in your entire life. You remember when we first met? How broken you were. How alone you were. You were like a scared little puppy. Afraid of every noise. Afraid that you would upset me. Or that you would say something the wrong way. You were always so quick to act submissively apologizing for something you never even did wrong. It was so cute, and it still is. But now, look at you. You went from the scared little mouse to an adult. You're grown now, physically at least. Not mentally, because of what you did to me. Leaving me like that. Someone who was mature wouldn't do something like that. Not without telling me first. You just up and left. And it hurt. It really did hurt me. Because you later met up with someone that same week and you started a new relationship so happily. At first, I, I thought I was your everything, but now I'm just a memory to you. It's fine. I'm over it. And 
apparently you are too. But I can't have that. I can't have someone stealing you away from me like that. Not without repercussions. So here's what's going to happen. I know you can hear me. You're always a light sleeper. I'm going to take you away. And I'm going to show you what true love means. I'm going to show you that no matter what we were meant to be, we were always meant to be just you and me. Nobody else can give you what I gave you. Nobody else. Good morning, sweetie. I see you're finally awake. Do you know where you are? Oh, you don't recognize it. You're in my room, of course. It's kind of upsetting that you don't even recognize your own girlfriend's room, you know? Ex-girlfriend. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Well. Long story short, I snatched you up and brought you back home with me. And now you're tied down to my bed. A little before, I, I had snatched your phone and I looked through your history. You know, if, if you were into this sort of stuff, you could have just told me. We could have had some. Interesting date nights. We could have played out anything you wanted. But no, you decided to keep it a secret from me. Just like how you felt about me. But anyway, I decided that you were too good just to be tied to a rusty old chair. So I tied you to the bed. The bed that you shared with me for so many nights. You remember that, don't you? I'm so glad we're together again. That adorable sleepy face of yours. I could lose my gaze in it forever. I just want to hold you right now and kiss every bit of you. But every time I say that, you want to scream, don't you? I can tell behind those sweet little eyes of yours. Deep down, you don't mean it, right? You love it when I control you like this. I take you away, far away from anybody else. And I make you mine. Those cute eyes of yours. Your skin so soft and clear. And those lips of yours. The way you squirm like this, it, it makes everything seem so much worse. You're like an angel descended from the heavens, you know? I feel like I have no choice but to be obsessed with you. Everything about you. Yesterday, I realized that you really are too pure for this world. You're too pure for her. She doesn't even know anything about you, you know? Does she even know your birthday? No, she doesn't. She doesn't know about you, and she doesn't care about you. I could see it in her, in her eyes. She has some sort of ulterior motive, doesn't she? She doesn't 
want to be with you for your looks, for your personality, none of your little emotions you feel for her. She doesn't care about any of that. What she wants is to use you. I'm not quite sure how, but trust me, I'll figure it out, baby, okay? You're here with me, lying right in front of me, looking up at me with those adorable eyes. And I'm here above you, pressing you down. In this kind of circumstance, you can't expect me to hold back, you know? The way you lay here is so helpless. That delicate neck of yours. You're usually so much stronger than me, but with your wrist tied down, really, what can you do? It makes me want to kiss you all over. But for now, you need to be punished. And you will be punished, baby. Because of what you did. Running away like that. Breaking my heart. It changes a person, you know? You didn't change me in any good way. I want to see. How I can make you scream. How much pain I can make you feel. What I can do to you. So let's see, shall we? Just know that it's all out of love, darling. I don't mean to hurt you in any way. But sometimes you do things that make it impossible to avoid punishment. Sometimes you need to be disciplined. I need to teach you how to act correctly. For all the pain you've done to me, how about I do the same to you? For every time you've made my heart ache, I can make you hurt a thousand times more. But I wouldn't want to hurt my precious boy like that. I wouldn't want to make it so you're not alive anymore. You can stay locked up with me down here, all right? You won't be able to leave until I think that you're ready, okay? Every single moment has to be spent with me. Tied down. I'll feed you all of your meals. Entertain you any way you want. But you have to dedicate all your time to me. If I have to discipline you, then I will. Any physical or mental, I'm able to do it all, baby. <laughs> I just want you to know she won't give you what I give you. I want you. I want you to know that you're mine. And I'll make you pay for all of the hurt you've put me through. So you sit here, tie down, and let me get on top, okay? And you're gonna give your girlfriend everything she wants.